Hi, so in today's video, we're going to differentiate this function. So we're going to differentiate the modulus of cos of x. Um, before we actually go ahead with the differentiation um, of this function, let's just think about the domain in which this uh, function will have a well-defined derivative. Um, so the modulus of x, well, we know that uh, a graph of y equals cos of x. Um, so this cos of x function looks something like this. Um, you've got obviously maxima and minima at one and minus one. Uh, you've got like these points here. Um, so that's pi over two, uh, three pi over two there. So like these roots of the function. So we know that a, a graph or a sketch of the, uh, the modulus of cos of x function is just going to look something like this roughly. So uh, instead it's going to be this red line here. Um, and then upwards like that. And then the same as this cos of x graph in this region. And then the reflection of this. And then upwards like that. So yeah, this uh, this red line would be the y equals absolute value of cos of x. Uh, so yeah, obviously this is a, a, a non-negative function. And what we can see is that the, uh, the, these points here, these like kind of roots of the function, or at pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, 5 pi over 2, and so on, and minus pi over 2, minus 3 pi over 2, and so on and so on. So the derivatives at these points there are going to be undefined, and that's because, well, when you differentiate uh, with respect to x, uh, the modulus of x evaluated at x equals 0, this is undefined. So this is undefined. Uh, it's not well-defined. So therefore, we can't differentiate at these roots here, essentially. Uh, these repeated roots. So therefore, yeah, so this derivative is only going to be defined uh, for x values not equal to these multiples of, well, these odd multiples of pi over 2. Uh, so essentially, yes, this derivative will be valid for, uh, so valid for all x in the real numbers, but apart from uh, values of x, at, yeah, pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, and so on and so on. So essentially, uh, these odd uh, multiples of pi over 2, where k is some, uh, well, any integer that you like. Um, yeah, so so any real number apart from these uh, odd multiples of pi over 2. Um, yeah, so now let's go ahead with the differentiation of this function. Uh, so as you can probably see, it's going to be a chain rule, uh, a case of using the chain rule, because you've got this modulus function and inside that function, we're inserting the, uh, the cosine function. Um, so, yeah, it's just going to be a case of differentiating the modulus of cos of x with respect to uh, cos of x. And then multiplying that by the derivative of cos of x, but with respect to the variable x. Um, and again, this is just by using the chain rule. So this is the chain rule. OK, so uh, we want to now differentiate this uh, modulus of cos of x with respect to cos of x. So we know that when we differentiate uh, the modulus of x with respect to x, we get the modulus of x over x. So differentiating this is going to give us the modulus of cos x over cos x um, just by using the fact that when we differentiate, uh, let me just write it down here. So when we differentiate with respect to x, modulus of x, we get modulus of x over x and that's the result we did in a previous video and of course when we differentiate this cosine function we just get negative sine of x so negative sine x star and then just simplifying this so sine x over cos x well that's just defined to be tan x so we get negative tan x sorry negative tan x uh, multiplied by uh, the modulus of cos x um, and that's literally going to be our final result um, here. So in conclusion, then, when we differentiate with respect to x, the modulus of cosine of x, uh, we just get what we got back here. So negative tan of x multiplied by the modulus of cos of x. And the key thing is that this derivative is valid for all x values in the real numbers. But apart from these odd multiples of pi over 2, um, so apart from 2k minus 1 times pi over 2, 
whereby k is any integer or any value in the integers. Um, so yeah, that is the result for today's video.